Hey guys, it's Alex Pierce. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Redshift for Blender. Make sure to subscribe now so that when I release the next videos on Redshift for Blender, which will be a lot more exciting than this video, uh, you'll get notified. I wanna start by saying, as of today, December 13th, 2020, there is not a free version of Redshift for Blender. It costs $500, and unless you already have Redshift and unless you already know Redshift, I don't recommend that you do what I did and spend 500 bucks on it. Um, I've gone ahead and bit the bullet so you don't have to. They will be releasing a free version soon. I'm, I'm almost positive of that because they have a demo version for pretty much every other DCC that's out there and they're in beta right now, they're out of alpha, so that means that you know they're probably getting pretty close to release to releasing a, a full version, and once they release that, they will most likely have a free version, so keep that in mind. Very soon I'll, I'll release a video with my first impressions and sort of just getting started and looking around the program, but today's video is all about how to install. I also just started a Facebook group called Redshift for Blender, it's a public group. You can search Facebook and find it. should be able to find it pretty easily. I'll also leave a link in the description. It's going to be a group where we can all share our information, and hopefully there will be some experienced Redshift users who can also guide me and tell me what is interesting and what I should cover. Without further ado, let's just jump in. Okay, so once you've created an account and you've logged in and you've bought the product, you now have access to the forum and there are special places in the forum that only paying members can see. You can search for Blender and you should be able to find information on the latest and greatest for the Blender add-on, how to install it, what the current limitations are, etc. in case things have changed since when I've recorded this video and when you're watching this. You can see some of the current limitations here. I'm not going to go through them all, but if you want to pause it and look at them, you can. For me, one of the, the big ones up front is baking. I, I do a lot of work with baking, and right now, baking is not uh, fully supported. In the forum, there is a section for registered users only, and if you find the new version announcements, whatever the latest version is today, that's 3.0, you go ahead and click on that. And then in here, you can click on the latest version of that. And then you could check the release notes, make sure there's some notes about Blender. If there are notes about Blender, then you can be sure that this will include Blender. And then go ahead and download it, whichever for whatever operating system you have. After you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it, and you'll it'll start the installer. And then, of course, agree to all their license stuff. Uh, and then you can choose to select all of the plugins or some of the plugins you just de decides on depends on what you're going to use it for I don't need any of this stuff so I'm just going to uncheck it and then next so you can't have blender up okay now you have to activate the license so to do that, you can go back to the website and you can go to your dashboard, then licenses, and copy your license. And then paste. And activate. Okay, once it's installed, you can go to Blender, make sure you open the right version. Go to Edit, Preferences, you can go ahead and search for Redshift, and you can see it doesn't exist, so you have to go to Install. And then there's a, some, some tricks here. So you got to go to C, and then in here you got to make sure to check Show Folders, and then, let's see, let me sort by name, Program Data, yep, and then go down to Redshift, Plugins, Blender 2.9, and then there's your add-on, and then you can go ahead and check it. It has to be 2.9. It can't be 2.91. It can't be 2.92. It has to be 2.9, uh, at least with the version I'm using right now. All right, so now let's see. We have Redshift. Ta-da! All right, here we go. All right, cool. 
So we have successfully installed Redshift. So now I'm going to do a bunch of stuff. I'm going to add some materials and some lights and some HDRs and I'm going to have some fun with some of the materials here. And I'll get into a lot of this in, in the next videos. Uh, but for now, just know that um, it works. All right, that's it for this video. And uh, if you want to know more about Redshift for Blender, make sure to join the Facebook group. If you know about Redshift, then make sure to join the Facebook group and tell me how to use it. That would be helpful. Make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. If you want notifications, you can turn that on too. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.